Yeah, hey everybody, this is Ian from mindfulmarketplace.com and I just uploaded a brand new PDF uh, to your members area that I think is really, really uh, important for those of us who are struggling to uh, monetize our community. So uh, I've actually shared uh, some different videos on this process in the past, but here is a really simple heuristic and exercise that I really believe will help those of you who are uh, struggling to conceptualize how to profit from your platform. Uh, you'll have a really quick and easy uh, set of instructions here that will, you know, amplify your efforts. All right. So the simple uh, quote here is, what can you borrow to build? What can you leverage to launch? What will make you look like a superhero, a wizard, or a wonderkind in your niche market vertical or industry? And again, this is the real important piece of this. The secret to your secret sauce is it doesn't need to be your sauce. And I can't overstress or emphasize this enough. You know, if you take one thing away from all these videos and all these PDFs and all of these tutorials is if you're building this sort of community, the secret is that your secret sauce doesn't need to be your sauce. So let's look at this in some more detail uh, throughout this PDF. And again, there's an exercise uh, at the very bottom. And of course, you can connect with our community and get some help with this if you're struggling. All right. So ask yourself this, what will make you look like a wizard, a wonderkind, a superhero in your niche, your market, your local uh, geography, your community, your industry, your vertical, or your area of expertise? What tools, tech, software, or services are available right now that you can leverage immediately to excite, inspire, or motivate your ideal audience to migrate your way, right? So what can you actually use that will give you a competitive advantage over your competition? So if you're building the site itself to, you know, to, to not only create an asset, right, which we're all doing, but simultaneously, you need to make money, you need to earn an income. So you need to sell something to the folks who are going to be participating in your platform. And the quickest way is obviously to bundle, you know, both the exposure that your asset will give your clients, right, that gives you a competitive advantage, while simultaneously bundling high end services, which give them a rock star result, right? So what people platforms, products, or partnerships, and again, partnerships is really important, present the opportunity to offer your own clients and community a rock star result. All right, so we want to keep going back to this simple uh, template. Product for target audience to solve X problem with Y secret sauce, right? So this could also be product slash platform. If you're just building a platform and not a product, like many of you are, platform for niche audience, for target audience to solve X problem, right? With secret sauce, why secret sauce? And this is where we're going to sort of experiment a little bit with some of the various ways that you can incorporate a secret sauce uh, result into your offers that doesn't have to be your, your sauce. As a matter of fact, I would say it shouldn't be your sauce if you're smart. All right. So uh, here's an exercise that, again, there's some uh, areas to do this in the box below. But, you know, write down a short list of software services, products or platforms that you can borrow. And when I say borrow, I mean, you know, pay for or utilize to rapidly offer your ideal audience a superhero transformation, right? Get creative and resist the urge to reinvent the wheel. And actually at bottom, this entire exercise is really the antithesis of reinventing the wheel. Most folks have this sort of entrepreneurial intuition that they need to reinvent the wheel to give their audience or their clients rock star results. And the actual 
uh, evidence is otherwise, right? You want to leverage tools and tech that are available right now, right? That your niche audience is not going to know about. And most folks won't know what you know. And then you want to utilize that those products or platforms or software or services to then offer your audience rock star results that transform their brands, right? Now, there are many, many different ways of incorporating secret sauce into the solutions that you offer your audience, right? So one, and I, it, this is a functionally, you know, unlimited amount of, of, you know, of answers to that question, right? So you, you, we're not going to cover all of the various ways that you can incorporate a secret sauce, um, you know, product or platform into your offers. But I'm just going to give you a few from our community, from our mindful marketplace community that are really super effective, right? And some of these will also be perfect for you. So your secret sauce can be speed, right? So product for target audience to solve X problem with Y secret sauce. Well, it could be a combination of a software and a speed result. So here you have, I have launch in three. Well, this is one of our products, right? Launch in three, where we're actually building a, um, you know, a result for our clients in 72 hours, right? So speed in that case is a part of our secret sauce, right? Because people, you know, our whole idea there is we have the idea incubator and brand accelerator for online entrepreneurs who are sick of slow, right? So that's the tagline. And essentially, the three day result is part of our secret sauce. Okay, I'm going to cover that example some more below. But let's move on to the next one. It can be a domain name, right? So you can actually just have a great domain name. And that can be your secret sauce. So let's say it's a super, you have a super uh, valuable local niche domain name. Right, that gives you the appearance, the appearance of authority or expertise. It could even be a highly flattering or appealing domain name. Right. So I years ago, and I've made this example or I've made this reference many, many, many times. But when I first built the first um, site in this kind of, you know, um, genre, right, or you know, a, a directory store, sort of community, it was a list of psychics, right, who were famous. And by dint of using the word famous in the domain name, many people in our my target audience wanted to be included, right? So they thought, now again, I'm agnostic about psychics or mediums. I don't necessarily believe uh, that, you know, that's a real thing. But that was the first community that I started working on. And by virtue of using the word famous in the uh, domain name, when I emailed these people to say, hey, we want to include you in you know this community in this directory are you interested in joining us they're thinking to themselves shit i'm a famous medium right i'm being invited by virtue of my fame so you're actually using flattery or audience appeal in that case to entice people to think well you know, I must be more well known than I realize because I'm being invited by this directory to join. And in that case, we actually seeded the site with some other really well known TV personalities. So when this local person's being invited to our community, they were quite often quite, um, um, you know, uh, what's the right word? Flattered, I guess, you know, to be uh, included. So you can use the same approach in whatever it is that you're building. I have clients and, and uh, subscribers and readers who have really no cachet at all in their niche or in, you know, with marketing, they don't know how to do anything. But for just sheer luck, they have a really, really good domain name that has given them this huge advantage, this 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 great advantage, again, by dint of the domain name itself. So that alone can be your secret sauce. Now, you know, ideally you want more than that, um, as some of the results that I've seen some of my own readers and subscribers, uh, you know, realize when they're not doing much more skillful, strategic work other than a great domain name. But that alone will give you the first 
you know, nudge in the direction of something great. All right. It can be a simple piece of software like Typeform. You know, I've used this example as well. Typeform is this really phenomenal, uh, you know, magical piece of software that, you know, many of you know about, but folks who are your ideal clients may not know about it. So you can use it to create, you know, these interactive surveys and stories and, you know, content marketing campaigns and even checkout pages. So many cool ways that you can use a piece of software like Typeform to give your audience a rock star result, right? A really interactive, super cool, immersive landing page or article or Facebook ad campaign, et cetera, et cetera. And there's, again, there's so many different ways of, of incorporating all sorts of software, not just something like Typeform, but that's just something that I've seen. I mean, I pay for that or our business does anyway for a, you know, we have a developer's license for that or a developer's, uh, we, you know, we pay for that annually. And I can give my clients these really great Facebook ad campaigns that are running uh, on Typeform that are pixelized so we can see who's filling out the form, what, you know, what stages of the form they're getting to, et cetera, et cetera. That makes me look like a wizard to my client, right, who doesn't understand how we're doing all this. They think that on some level, this magic is our magic, when of course it's not. All right, something like leaflets, uh, I've covered this before as well, which are really great Stripe-enabled landing pages for products, for courses, for, um, you know, creators. And you can incorporate something like leaflets which allows you to build these great looking landing pages in about 20 minutes and speeds right so you have speed and software so you can offer you know you can offer something like a three-day turnaround on a kick-ass landing page for a book launch using leaflets and speed right which again is this kind of secret sauce product for target audience to solve x problem with y secret sauce right it could be something like canva uh, for designers you can do book you know book covers you can do all sorts of really cool things canva is free you could design for niches you know um you know for local communities for you know dentist detailers it matters not canva gives you the opportunity to look like a rock star designer even if you have, you know, really remedial design skills like me, it could be something like Vellum. You know, Vellum's a book formatting uh, uh, piece of software for authors that does really amazing uh, formatting and design work. Again, I didn't create the software, but we pay for that as a way of offering that sort of service to our authors. All I need to do is hire somebody who knows how to use it, right? I don't even know how to use Vellum well, but I can offer that as a service, book formatting as part and parcel of a larger high-end uh, author offer to our community, all right? It can even be things like uh, you know, WordPress managed hosting. You can sign up for a you know premium package of you know uh, like something like WP Engine or Pressable or any of those sorts of managed uh, WP hosting uh, packages, and then offer that as part and parcel of a web design or development you know deal. And then folks can actually look and see what that would cost them in the real world if they were to buy that on their own, right? It can be niche themes. Again, I've covered this before, but you can go out and, you know, if your target audience is restaurants or dentists or lawyers, just go out and buy a couple of niche themes that allow you to create these really beautiful uh, niche sites for your target audience, right? It could be something like Podia or Gumroad. I mean, I saw somebody uh, that I know quite well about a year ago start offering Gumroad-based consulting on helping her target audience, you know, launch courses and content and memberships and affiliate programs on Gumroad. Well, guess what? I mean, she's using this software to give them this rock star result and her clients were super you know willing to pay her lots of money to set up a store to set up an affiliate program to upload their products and to do this sort of concierge content conversion oriented campaigns running on the gumroad platform that's couldn't be any easier to do right i mean it's super duper simple she's using their software to offer them this superhero uh service 
All right, it can be price, right? You can, you know, you you can borrow or your secret sauce could be the ability to pay for a piece of software that your community won't be able to afford on their own, right? And I've given examples of this before. You know, one of the reasons that we use Pathrite for our, our course community um, was because it's so damn expensive that, you know, it's not like a Gumroad or a Podia that pretty much anyone with a hundred bucks a month can afford or something like uh, Arist, which is another uh, course platform or text-based platform that is expensive, right? So our you know audience can't say, ah, you know what, we'll do that on our own because they're looking at what it would cost them to do what we could offer them, um, you know, for a you know as part and parcel of a high-end service. All right, so I'm kind of getting a little bit into the weeds here. I don't want to really do that much more. So I'm going to simplify the last couple of these and just say it could be people and partnerships. And again, this may be appropriate for the vast majority of folks who are watching this. You may have zero web design or development skills, but you can partner with people as the platform owner, right? And these are the people that you can actually, you know, create ambassador partnership programs with affiliate relationships with and then you can offer their services to your members and your role is simply to act as the conduit or the connector or the community leader which is obviously what you are by virtue of building this sort of site or asset in the first place and again of course it can be a combination of all of these things you can combine software with speed products with people always aiming to solve real problems with an eye for the empirical needs that your niche, your audience, your target market really needs to succeed, right? All these things can be your secret sauce, all right? There is a uh, audio below that has another uh, sort of, you know, um, you know, explanation on how to incorporate this specifically for community leaders, platform publishers, and authority site owners. It's here. And I think actually it links to the YouTube private uh, audio here. And then below we have some exercises that you ought to, um, you know, to, to take on board if you want to actually implement this approach in your platforms, right? What can you borrow to build? What can you leverage to launch? What software services, products, or platforms do you pay for right now or can you afford to pay for right now that can confer overwhelming value to your ideal audience, right? Something like leaflets, which I mentioned up, up here again, uh, is $5 per month, right? So for every landing page that we build using leaflets for our clients, it costs us $60 a year or $5 a month. So you could charge someone $200 for something that takes you 20 minutes to do, and they're getting this incredibly good deal, and you're only being, you're only paying five bucks a month, you know, for that uh, page. Even if you paid for it for the year up front, it's $60, takes you 20, 30, 40 minutes, and you're give, you're getting a 300%, 400% return on investment for that little bit of time. And, you know, you could do far, far more high margin work than that. But that's for those of you who are just starting out and just want to make some quick money using this sort of approach. All right. So there's lots more uh, in our community. If you're interested in, you know, this style, uh, you know, strategy, it's the secret sauce strategy where the sauce is not your sauce right the secret sauce is somebody else's software somebody else's products somebody else's platform somebody else's tool or tech or you know whatever the other um you know style thing that you need to offer to give your audience this rock star result or superhero transformation all right you can download this pdf again it's in your members area uh, with all the exercises and there's a supplemental audio as i said right here that you can link to and listen to at your leisure okie doke i hope this has been helpful and as always this is ian from mindfulmarketplace.com if you have any questions feel free to drop me an email hi at mindfulmarketplace.com or leave a comment 
in the community section below. Thanks so much and have a wonderful day.